about what you, you're presenting. Uh, where are you from? Portugal. Portugal, okay, so Portuguese. Um, we're here to let our people know that, um, let me get the book of Malachi chapter one, verse one, right? And let me get the book of Psalm chapter 82, verse three. You believe in the Bible? They believe in the Bible in Portugal? They, they're mostly Probably Christians, not, right? mostly Christians. Oh, okay, right, right. So Christianity, right? Right, let me, um, let me see, 83. Psalm chapter 83, verse 2. This is the book of Psalm chapter 83 and verse 2. Right. Yeah. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult. Right, so we're here to let our people know, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, that our enemies, they make an uproar, right? And, and, and they shake things up, right? They do bad things to our people. That's the reason why we're here, right? Didn't the Portuguese have something to do with that? They did. Why our people were here? Yeah, exactly. They did terribly. Right? So that's in the Bible, though, that that would happen. That your people would do terrible things to our people. That's it's, right. Keep reading. And they that hate thee. And they that what? And they that hate thee. And, and your people that hated us, right? And hate us, read. Lifting up the head. Right? Keep reading. They have taken crafty counsel. Right? So at one point in time, you guys took crafty council you guys got together and figured out man we have to get these so-called blacks latinos and native americans into slavery and we have to make them work for us and never release them right keep reading against thy people right and consulted against thy hidden ones right and they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation so that's why our people instead of speaking english in brazil they speak portuguese Right? Because your guys' nation, she's Portuguese as well, Portu Portugal, okay. right? They said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. So now we, instead of speaking Hebrew that we once spoke, we speak English, we speak Portuguese, we speak Spanish, right? Read. That the name of Israel may be more, no more in remembrance. Right. For they have consulted together with one consent. Right. They are confederate against thee. Right. The tabernacles of Edom. Who's the first nation? The tabernacles of Edom. And that's where you guys come from. Read it again. The tabernacles of Edom. Right. The tabernacles of Edom. You guys come from a man in the Bible named Esau, who's, who are the father, who is the father of the Edomites. The brother of Jacob. We come from Jacob, the Israelites, right? So there's a reason why you got your people went and sought to hold our people into slavery. And we're telling our people we got to keep the commandments to get us up out of this slavery, this captivity that we're in. Because our people believe that we're going to one day hold hand in hand and the Most High is coming back to save everybody. But that's not what the Bible says, for one. And two... Um, we're coming. We're telling our people that there isn't um, a leader like Martin Luther King or Malcolm X or Denmark VCs. They're not going to save us. They all got killed, right? Isn't that what happened to Martin Luther King? Do you know about who that is, Martin Luther King? I do. What happened to him? He got killed. He got killed. And who killed him? Well, America did. So. American, right? But like, so we're so-called Americans. So we killed him, or who specifically killed? What race of people killed him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what, well, what race? Just tell I it. Really, we try to see if you gonna tell the truth or not. What I, race of I people will, killed him? I, I will not contradict you. It who, was who, white people. Okay, the so-called white people, right? So the Most High says, let me get Revelation 13 and 9. This is what's going to happen to, it's not just white people who have done this. The Asians have done this to us with the Silk Road slave trade. And um, the Arabs have done this to us with the Sub-Saharan slave trade. Y'all have done this as well, right? Bring this out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 9. Right. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right, so if anyone has an ear, let them hear, right? This is the words of the Most High, read. He that leadeth into captivity. Wait, hold on, you, you have, believe in the Bible, right? I, I don't. This is the I'm last scripture. Ideas, actually. I'm what an atheist. I don't believe in the Bible. Right, as you shouldn't, because this is our book, right? But you believe in a higher being, a higher being, or a higher power? I, I don't. I'm an atheist. 
No, no, not, I don't of, not of God, but I'm saying, do you believe that somebody is in control of things? I don't. I believe that we only have body, and that's that we only have what body, and that's it. A that body. Forever. So what? So what? That we like, have a life on earth. And so that's so it. no one dies or what? No, everyone dies. And okay. That's so it. do so you can have you birth and you have died. Who's responsible yeah. for that? Well, that's we a silly doctrine. Yeah, yeah, but listen to this. Listen, listen to this real quick. It's gonna. This is the last one. Bring this out. He that lead him into captivity. Right. What is captivity? What is it to be captured? What is captivity? What does that mean? It being deprived of your freedom, that's it. Right, deprived of our freedom, or as we say, slavery, right? So he, that these group of people who enslave other people, what's going to happen? Read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. And then they're going to say, oh, you scared to read the next verse though, y'all. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to read the next verse, right? right. Bring it out. I'm he that kill him with the sword. He that what? Time. He that kill him with the sword. What did the Portuguese do to us? He that kill him with the sword. Green. Must, Must be, be killed, killed with, with the sword. sword. And so y'all going to be killed with the sword. And y'all going to be slaves. Word. And that hand on your chest ain't going to mean nothing. You're going to have your hand in the cotton fields working, man. That's right. You're going to be killed with the sword. And led into slavery and drug captive, man. Right. right? Bring your precept out too. We got no two. Not the Malachi one and one that I have. You go ahead and bring yours out. Okay, come, come. I get it. This is the book of Esther, chapter 4 and verse 3. Zerubbabel and Joshua and the rest of the chief of fathers of Israel said unto them, Ye have nothing to do with them. Right, and see, she tried to come up here and all oh, hand on her heart while she's drinking her whatever was in that drink, that alcoholic drink, she right? Was drunk. Probably mixed with some drugs and, you know, fentanyl or whatever while they plotting to freak off in Atlanta, oh. right? Keep reading. <laughs> you have nothing to do with us. And they have nothing to do with us, right? Brother, you came back. Come here, one scripture, brother. One scripture real quick. Brother, be a leader. Come on, brother. Okay, come here, one scripture to lead your family. You can put the pink vape down, brother, and come here, scripture. Come on, brother. That's off. Come on, sister. Be a leader. That's off, man. Our people rather smoke the so-called white man's drugs than figure out how to get out of captivity, man. Than to, than to stand up for their people and their family, bro. Right. Because we think we got all day and we think we got forever, right. right? Brothers don't believe in these prophecies. Brothers don't want. Brothers don't want to examine themselves, right? Go back to that Second Corinthians chapter thirteen and verse five. Don't you want correction. It. It's the book of Second Corinthians chapter thirteen and verse five. Bring it right. out. Examine yourselves. Right. Whether you be in the faith. Whether you what? Whether, whether you, you be, be in the, in the faith. faith. I guarantee you, if we ask them brothers and us and them that brother and them sisters, they say that they believe in God. They say they serve God, right? With a vape in his hand, right? You gotta examine yourself, brothers. In this truth as well, you gotta examine yourself. How are you holding yourselves up when you with your family? How are you holding yourselves and conducting yourselves when you at work or when you at the grocery stores and stuff like that? Are you tucking in your fringes, right? Sister, you wearing pants real quick? Oh, I'm just going to the grocery store. I'm throwing on these jeans. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and they tie. Right, right. As the brother said, why do you even have jeans? Right. Right? You know what I'm saying? So we have to kind of examine ourselves, you know? You out at the bar. Oh, uh, the, uh, the, we having a work group outing, right? Come on, Jamal. You know? We never see you outside of work. Come on, man. You know? Now you at the work uh, uh, group meeting at the bar. Right. Oh, oh, drinks are on us. Don't worry about it, Tyrone. We got you. And they hand you their your drinks. Hey, sister, brother, come here to the world real quick. One scripture. One scripture. Brother, one scripture. All praises to the All most high. High. All praise. praises to the most All high. High. We are. You know what we out here doing? We're out here teaching the word, right? Right? Now, you ever heard of the Israelites? Okay. What would you hear about them? They're so called black, right? But we also have Latinos, Native Americans, they Israelites as well. That's right. right. Right, yeah, because black is the color of your shirt, and we wouldn't be that, right? So as Israelites, what must we do? What must we do to get up out of this captivity? Right? Okay. Right? Well we let me get back to nineteen and sixteen. 
Right. Let's see what Christ says. Right. Bring this up. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Right. So what good thing shall I do to have eternal life? I feel like that's a really good question, right? We all want to have eternal life. We want to live forever. Right? Keep reading. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Now, a lot of people, when we ask them to stop and hear the word, they say, oh, I'm good, right? Christ said, even Christ, the Lord, who the world calls Jesus, whose name in the Hebrew is Yahawashai, meaning he saves, he delivers, right? He said, why callest thou me good, right? right. Read. There is none good but one. Right. That is God. That is who? That, that is God. God. Uh, Jake could be good walking by on the street. That, that is God. God. But if thou will enter into life, what? if we want to enter into life, read, keep, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. That's what we have to do, sister. Brother, that's what we have to do. We got to keep the commandments if we want to make it into the hev into heaven, right? Which is going to be here on earth, right? If we want the kingdom, right? Do you guys know any commandments? You guys obey the commandments? Okay, can I show you a commandment we may not, our people may not obey and didn't know that? Okay, let me get the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. And let me get the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. I want that one first. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 27. You shall not round the corners of your heads. Neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Right, so we can shave our heads low, brother, but you can't take a razor to it, right? Do you do that? Okay. Now, as I said, it could be low, King, but that thing can't be like Michael Jordan, Charles Barkley, right? And it says we can't mar the corners of our beard. That's why when you look up here, all the brothers up here are trying to grow a mighty beard out because the Lord says so, right? Hey! This is how we know who the Israelites are, right? Even if you look at old depictions of drawings and stuff of the Israelites, they had a beard on their face. The only time we don't have a beard on our face is when we get drugged into slavery. And, and like the military, for instance, what's the first thing they make you do? Right, shave, King. They emasculate you, right? So we have to remember that, right? Now listen to this commandment. It's the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Right. I am the Lord... Eight or two. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Come. It's the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day. day. It's just the Old Testament. Remember, Remember the, the Sabbath, Sabbath day. day. Right, to keep it holy. What does holy mean? You know? It's okay if y'all don't. Today. Yeah, Today is the Sabbath day, right? Holy means to be set apart. This day has to be different from every other day. What did you say? Fasting What did you mean? Fasting. Oh, you don't have to fast, but you can fast, right? Because it's going to tell you what you have to do. Keep reading. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Right. So you you can work six days. Read. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it. Thou shalt not do any work. Right. So you can't work on the Sabbath, right? Read. Thou, nor thy son, right. nor thy daughter. So it's not just you believe, but my kids don't. I don't right. want to force right. this on right. my kids. No, even your kids, they can't work. They can't be cooking. Can't be cleaning, sister. Right? So we have to keep that in mind that on the Sabbath day, you look like you want to say something. I don't. Now, what were you going to say, sister? Say it. This is what we up here for, sister. This is what we up here for. I Let us to, know. I want to say and then walk away. <laughs> no, sister, you can't do that. Saying. Come on, come I on. You can say it, sister, but don't walk away. But I, let I, us I, hear I, it. I'm going to walk away and I'm going to say this. I want to say that we're not from here. We're from Cali, California. I'm from Seattle. Okay, and so the West Coast. I, okay. I appreciate what you said today. I appreciate the word. I don't want to cry because my husband has been trying so very hard to get me woke mm -hmm. in my spiritualness. All praises to the most high. And we did, we were doing, we were on the road towards mm -hmm. what you're saying today. Okay. 
however. Mm -hmm. Should there be a however to the most size word though? However, I can okay. say that's why I'm walking. Um, I'm a Christian, so I fought him on it. Mm -hmm. And hearing this today resonates with me and I appreciate it. All oh, praise to the most high. Sister, it's okay. You can cry. We family up here, call sister. Call my sister, we family up here. Go ahead and let it go, sister. Clap it up for the sister, man. Clap it up, sister. This, this, hey, this is emotional, sister. That's, that's very humble of you saying this, right? Even listen to this real quick. Let me get let me get First Corinthians thirteen and one. This is a this is a positive precept, right? It is, but listen listen to this scripture right here. Positive right here. Because you said you were a Christian, right? Yeah. So who are the Christians, right? Look this up. I mean, bring this out. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 1. Right. Though I speak with the tongues of oh, men. Oh, Salakia. Um, Acts. I mean, Acts. Wow, I'm bugging. <laughs> Acts 13 and 1. God. Go to Acts 11 and 26 actually first. Okay, okay. This Th is the book that of way Acts. we get context. Right. This is the book of Acts chapter 11 and verse 26. Right. Whoa. And when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. Right. And taught much people. Right. And the disciples were called Christians. And the what? And the disciples were called Christians. Right. So who were the disciples? They were Israelites, right? They're us, right? They were called Christians, right? First in Antioch. Right. So not everybody is called a Christian, right? Now go to Acts 13 and 1. The book of Acts, chapter 13 and verse 1. Right. Now they were in church. Right. That was at Antioch. Right. So in Antioch, right, read. Certain prophets and Facebook, teachers, right. as Barnabas and Simon, they were called nigger. They were called what? They were called uh, nigger. Right. So these same people who were called Christians were called nigger. That's right. right. So that's how we know who the Israelites are and that this isn't just for everybody, sister. Yes, it's time Lord. to take your heritage back. Lord willing, that's what your husband is trying to get you to do, sister. Right? And this, uh, I'm going to end it on this one. Just a commandment. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Oh, right. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. And listen to this real quick while he's getting that. Bring this out. Okay, yeah. This is uh, the word nigger, right? Because G it's spelled N I G E R. Mm -hmm. So we would say Niger kind of like now, right? right. But it, you know, the Bible wasn't written in English, right. right? So break this down. This is G3526. Right? This is the Strong's definition, right? Read. It's pronounced nigger, right? It says nigger black. This what is it? Black. black. Say it again. Black. 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 Right? Read. The surname of the prophet Simeon. Right? Mm -hmm. And it reading. says black, nigger, and Christian. A what? A Christian. A Christian. That's what a nigger originally is. Black. Yes, People who were called that, that's us. Right? Now bring this out. Oh, oh praise, praise to the Most High. Mighty point. That's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. Bring right? it out. This is some ways that you can start as well. Because I gave the brother back there a commandment as well. So I got to be just and give you a commandment as okay. well. Right? Okay. Bring this out. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right. So what's a woman's garment that a man can't wear? A bra. Okay, a bra. That's an undergarment. Yeah. What's an outer garment that a man can't wear? You look down. Sister said it right here. She helped you out. A dress, sister. So if a man, we can't, come on, think about it. We had tutus on and ballerina dresses, we got the Bible in our hand, that would look crazy, right? Pencil skirts and, and, sun, and sun dresses, right? That would be off. Right. And then it says a woman can't wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what would that be? Pants? That's right, sister. So we got to so we got to drink modest. We got to drink. We got to dress modest, sister. You can't deny the word, sister. The word is. You got to admit the word is the word, though, right? And the Most High don't change, as it says in Malachi. All praises. Have a conversation with your husband. You can do it. The flyer too, sister. You can do it. You can do it. We're here for you. Email us if y'all got questions too. All praises. Clap it up for that, sister.